Hey Craft Cousins, it's Charity and I'm coming to show you again how I use Ink Inkscape to create a SVG or a cut file. Now it's 5.51 a.m. so I'm trying to keep it low-key. I'm up doing a little bit of gift wrapping. So the image I'm looking for is of Texas Tech, um, the logo. This would be ideal. It's more of a simple image. Um, I have already saved this particular image. And again, if you haven't seen my previous video, if you click out of it, or that's not clicking out of it. Um, okay, when you type it in, you can click PNG so that you won't have an image with the background. Um, if you click on an image like this, and it's already showing these little dots, it's basically not going to work. Or you would have to do more, which this is a website that typically makes you go onto it and then download their PNGs. Um, but clicking on something simple and easy like this, and then it has the little pixelated background, which is basically just showing there's empty space so I already have that saved I already have Inkscape open as well so I'm going to go to file import it should be my quick access Texas Tech logo insert I don't change any of this um, yeah okay so it's in just in case, I'm going to lock it up here to keep the proportions right. I'm going to shrink it a little bit. So, yeah. The next thing I'm going to do is trace bitmap, which I just um, right clicked. Did trace bitmap, or you can go to path here and get to trace bitmap from there. Clicking on it, also I'm going to do live preview, which lets me see exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to unclick smooth and also click remove backgrounds. I'm going to go to colors. This, I'm, I'm thinking I'm reading about two colors, which are white. I mean, two colors which are red, three colors which are red, white, and black. So I'm going to go down to three colors. Okay, three is not enough. So four. What is it? Black, white. Black, white, red. So yeah, I'm going to leave it as this. This is basically the colors that I want. I'm going to press OK. And how you know that you got the right number is if I click down, I lose the element that I wanted. So I'll just come on back. Boom, that's how I like it. Click OK. You have to manually close this out. It doesn't close once you click OK. And you can tell this is the file because you can see through it. See that? You can see through it, and this is the original. So you can also right click, click ungroup. Click on group, click off of it. Okay, I don't know why that's happening. Go back to this arrow. Boom. In my black background. Oh, is it supposed to be gray? I guess I didn't factor that in. I'm just going to leave that white. Ooh, that's kind of... Puts me in a sticky situation. So, okay, so... Oh, I keep keeps doing that. So this is scan one, scan two, scan three, and I think four is this little empty white space. So this works fine for me. Um, let's see. Stack them back. Okay, so I'm gonna go back a few. Undo move. Move, undo move, undo move, 
I can move. And guys, I have not used this before, so this is definitely me testing out this madness. Okay. Let's see if I can fill this space with green. Yeah, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so click off everything. I'm gonna grab my paint bucket. Go to the color green. I'm gonna try to fill. Hmm. I don't know what that did. I'm gonna move this. No. Cause what did that give me? Is the, is the green really the red? Yes, so you can put it over here to see. So this is really the red in my book. So when it fits in like that, it's the red. Um, let's think. We'll be able to get a white. I'm gonna do blue. I'm gonna click my paint bucket. Not letting me feel. And it'll say area is not bounded at the bottom. So maybe I will come back. Not there. But did I do that to begin with? Uh, hmm. Kind of stumped. This here is going to be blue. See if I can fill in this white area. It basically gives me the exact same thing that I got over here. Yeah. I can do it just because it's the same as that one. Let's figure out a way to get the white bar. This should work. Okay, so I'm gonna yeah, it's click to click off of it, then click the tool. Maybe I should do visible colors. I'm wondering why. Mm, so let's see what happens here. I wonder why the area is not bounded. Mm, do I have to click on it and then click a particular area? Nope. So yeah, your girl has no clue why this isn't working right now. Let's see if we can figure it out. Oh, maybe I should hold on. Let's see. Okay, got an idea. I'm going to the path. Um. Object path. Oh no, wrong one. And undo that. Oh, so here. Object to path. Let's see if that makes something. No. Okay, so I'm going to go back to visible color and then I'm going to grab my. So I'm off of it now. Paint bucket. I'm not off of it. Okay. Clicking here off of it. Paint bucket. Purple. My, my, my. Let's improvise. Let me see if I can do anything with this back here. Not this one. See how that fills that in? Which is not quite the same as this one. Anyways, I'm going to see if I can work with this one, which is actually just the white space. Mm, perfect.
I'm not sure why it is not considered. Taking the threshold down. Nope, also not working. And then I forget what the original looks like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Lolly Kazam. Take this one, see if I can move it down. Okay, I just tried, so let's see if I can only feel. I hate to resort to what I think the next step is. Mm. I don't know what that was about. I'm going to see something here. Keeping this one. Am I keeping this one? This is the ring. This is the white parts, and I don't understand why it is not allowing me to figure this out. Aha! I don't know what I did differently, but I just figured it out. Now, let me try to. I don't know why that worked. I don't. So I'm going to undo. What changed? I did change this to a pad. Maybe that's what happened. Mm, okay. So here we go. This should be its own little thingy. That's our original. Move it over to the left, which for whatever reason it does not let me um, like stack perfectly. If you just try to sit it there, this one is supposed to actually be red. So yeah, virtually, let me just this is my Texas Tech. And so, even with this red one, this looks perfect. This is supposed to be, oh my gosh, so figured it out. Not quite sure how. Um, yeah. Make that white just to get the real feel of it. It's pretty much identical. Yes. I'm going to try to run through this one more time. I'm glad I figured it out because, look, listen, this, one, two, okay, control, click this one, click this one, okay, just covering them all, hmm. okay, deleting you, deleting you. I'll saving this as not an Inkscape SVG but a regular SVG. Plain SVG. So tech figured out. I'm going to do another one um, right after this video because, again, I only like 15 minute videos. And I'm going to make sure I can do this. So I saved it. Boom, it saved. Quickly upload it to Design Space. So I thought, so I'm thinking, yeah. Yeah. Trying, and I'm not going to be able to. Thanks for watching, guys.